Good morning. Hope everybody's having a great morning so far on this Tuesday. For some reason, I thought it was Wednesday already. Just amazing when you're busy, you're just plowing through, and all of a sudden you turn up and like, oh my gosh, it's only Tuesday. So anyway, here's a quick tip here, okay? There's a lot of um, appraised values right now where houses are, are appreciating, obviously, and, and it's, it still looks to go that way. I, I did a... Uh, uh, you know, a short video about seven minutes ago. It was kind of like a screen share, share video last week, and we're at the lowest inventory um, pretty much ever, it seems like, okay? I mean, it's real low right now. So if you want to copy that, I can post it in the comment section and just send it to you individually. As always, any questions, comments, um, you know, comment down below, questions, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Now, having said that, appraisal waivers. These are only good for conventional loans, okay? It's not going to happen with FHA or VA or anything else like that, okay? So that's the first thing. So what's an appraisal waiver? If you do 20% down or more, okay, when you run your file, when we run your file through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, it will tell us if an appraisal is needed or not. Those are coming up more and more now where appraisal might not be needed. There's certain triggers sometimes on the application, and there's a lot of loan officers that don't do this little trick here, okay? When you put in the zip code, make sure you put in all the numbers in it, okay? Put the zip code plus the four numbers. So the best way to do that is find from the USPS, find out the, the total zip code and put that in there along with everything else. There's a lot of little details that, that you know, like loan officers, including myself, you know, I mean, like over the years, just, just leave out because, hey, it doesn't mean anything and or, or so forth. Those little triggers, when you run it through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, that could be the difference in paying, say, five hundred to six six hundred dollars for an appraisal or not. Okay. Once again, this is conventional, twenty percent down. It's not going to work with with government loans, but that, that's just a little trick. So if you know, like if you are going through or have a client that that's going through getting a mortgage right now, and they are doing twenty percent down and they are going through conventional, uh, make sure you ask those questions about an appraisal waiver because it could save them a lot of money. It's also comes big, you know, like with a, uh, you know, when somebody's trying trying to refinance. Okay, so if somebody's trying to do that, trying to refi, cut their payment down, all that fun stuff, uh, there's a good opportunity to get the appraisal waived on that too as well by doing those little triggers. Okay, hopefully that helps somebody out there. If you got any questions, just let me know. Uh, and just comment down below, like I said earlier, shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.